This is my vlog on Black Sabbath and how they influence new practices within music and society. Formed in the city of Birmingham in 1968, with members consisting of Ozzy Osbourne, Tony Iommi, Geezer Butler and Bill Ward. Why is the geography important? Flower power of religious spirituality and peace and love was the theme throughout the majority of popular culture in 1968, the year Black Sabbath formed, with London and San Francisco being two capitals of this counterculture. However, Black Sabbath emerged from the industrial and working class city of Birmingham where noise pollution from surrounding factories contributed to a bleak and hard social and cultural landscape. In the year 1970, Black Sabbath taken influence no previous blues rock band has had before and used the qualities of their sonic environment to alter the sound of their instruments. How did they encapsulate this influence into their sonic identity? Guitarists combined with heavy amounts of distortion. The combination of texture and rhythm in Black Sabbath style means that their riffs have, sl have sludge and growly as well as fast and energetic qualities. Detuned guitars which contribute to the guitar part sounding deep and heavy. Groove and blues influences bass lines, particularly in slower songs. Detuned thundering drumming style. Powerful vocals often following the rhythm of the riffs. All recorded live in the studio that really helps bring the band's energy and tightness to the table. Here's some examples. In the fields of bodies burning As the war machine keeps turning Death and hatred to mankind The live recording approach in both of these tracks really encapsulates the energy of the band. Because of this, the anger and energy in each voice of the band is really enhanced. Black Sabbath did double track some of their guitars. Signature distortion tone achieved by cranking a Dallas Rangemaster treble booster for a Laney stack helped create Tony Iommi's signature tone, and it was much unlike the speaker cutting technique to achieve distortion used by bands prior. The studio decision to teach in the drums which works well with the deepness of the guitar and bass parts, as well as bringing a tribal and animalistic quality to the rhythm section. The tonality of Black Sabbath instruments are well thought out as they leave the vocals their own space in the mix in terms of EQ. The guitar solos which are overdubbed in Black Sabbath songs are panned left and right in the mix. This use of stereo imaging helps emphasise these important parts of the tracks. Light amounts of delay applied to the vocals to add a sense of space and presence. In War Pigs there is a short reverb on the vocal, the lack of delay may be, because of, may be because the arrangement during the vocal parts is more sparse and therefore the presence of the vocals is not required to be as defined. Pink Floyd's Piper at the Gates of Dawn use sonic um, textures to tell the story of their music, What's New. On a cult level, the album was infamous for Sid Barrett's experimental use of instruments and production techniques in an attempt to sonically recreate the experiences of LSD. Unlike Pink Floyd, Black Sabbath were able to put definition to their approach to sonic characteristics of their music. This helped make the music easier to copy and therefore had a bigger influence on musicians. It is true that Black Sabbath took influence from the heavier blues rock style of Cream and, G and Jimi Hendrix. It can certainly be heard in Black Sabbath records that were listening to the rock music um, of Cream and Jimi Hendrix that fused blues guitar with distortion as well as using detuned tom drums to contribute to a more aggressive and heavier style of rock drumming. However, Black Sabbath were able to take these sonic influences and use them with such levels of authenticity that these elements became staple building blocks of an entire movement of music. It is well known that Black Sabbath single-handedly influenced some of Metal's biggest names, more so than the fellow highly influential bands in the 60s and 70s. Here's an example of a, a more recent metal band within the subgenre of Doom that is, that, that is taking a big influence from Black Sabbath sound. <laughs> The importance and lasting influence of the use of the tritone in Black Sabbath's music. Black Sabbath's use of the tritone separated their sonic identity from the previous bands that shared sonic qualities with them, and the tritone sound not only made Tony Iommi's guitar playing unique, but also became a staple ingredient in metal guitar playing. Black Sabbath commercialised its use in popular music by establishing it as a definitive feature of their music by putting it into their own self-created context that is heavy metal. Black Sabbath songs that use the tritone.
Here's some examples of the tritone and other metal songs of various metal genres and eras. The bands that were immediately influenced. The immediate impact of the first two Black Sabbath albums, in particular Paranoid, which is considered the quintessential Black Sabbath album, had a huge influence on fellow bands who saw success in the 70s, 80s and 90s and who still operate today. These bands in particular went on to contribute new qualities to the genre of sonic identity as well as expanding metal's audience further by achieving mass commercial success. These bands are Judas Priest, Iron Maiden, Metallica and Guns N' Roses. My take on the musicology of Black Sabbath. In my opinion, I believe Black Sabbath Serban is an example to prove the importance of one action that is fundamental to the development of popular music. I believe this to be contrast. Black Sabbath's take on rock music went against the grain, spawned from their discontentment with working class factory life. Black Sabbath vented their frustration into their music, discovering a new avenue of musical expression no previous artist had explored to the same depths that Black Sabbath did. Formed at the height of an era where rock music served as an escapism from the war and social injustice in the world, Black Sabbath ditched the hippie ide ideology and made music that grew from the true emotion of the British working class. I believe that the harsh realities of life that Black Sabbath music conveys both sonically and lyrically is the reason that the band's music has resonated and inspired millions of people globally since the day their debut album came out on Friday the 13th, February 1970. How did Black Sabbath influence society outside of music? Black Sabbath's influence on culture also expanded outside of music and reshaped the imagery of rock music in terms of artwork aesthetics as well as importantly fashion. Black Sabbath's incorporation of dark imagery like Satanism and witchcraft created a huge contrast to the floral cladded prior rock bands. The authenticity of Black Sabbath's aesthetic created a subculture that allowed fans of metal to be unified in fashion by wearing jewellery such as the upside down crosses as well as starting the trend of wearing ba battle jackets, leather jackets of cut off sleeves. Fans would then decorate these jackets with patches of bands they were into. This did not only show their support the bands they liked, but also allowed fans to identify each other based on their specific music tastes. Metal fashion is popular. Metal fashion is popular look in the fashion world by metal heads and figures of pop culture alike. Metal today is one of the biggest genres of music in the world, with a huge network of subgenres and bands who are equally influenced on Black Sabbath's music now, as much as the bands who came just after Black Sabbath in the 70s and 80s, and the, and the genre is still expanding and growing in popularity today.